Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode, we're going to be taking a look at a piece by the AI generative artist, Artix. This episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about divinity through scale. We're going to talk about the importance of the obelisk, and we're also going to talk about the profound power of OpenAI's Dolly 2. So let's jump right into it. So whenever we first see this scene, you know, we see what appears to be this large monument commanding the center region of the spatial composition. This really draws the eye. Of course, it fills so much of that canvas. And we also see these bits of rain almost raining sideways. So it is raining quite heavily. Also adds a bit of visual energy to the work at hand. And what you'll also notice is this grand sense of scale here. Of course, our perspective is about at the base of the obelisk or the monument. So we're looking straight up at it. That really gives us this grand sense of scale and it really introduces us to a divine destination of the highest order. And so in the realm of color, we see the main kind of color palette of the black, we see kind of a lighter blue, and then we see all the way to the white, whether it's the streaks or kind of the flares there. And so that really does create mostly a dark color palette. And then of course, it intensifies the impact of this kind of glowing effect through a brilliant light on dark contrast that really draws the eye. It also introduces us to the divinity of this destination for sure. So that scale and that contrast both kind of reinforce the sacred and the divine themes within this work for sure. And so we also see an AI's interpretation of the prompt it was like an alien obelisk or an abstract alien obelisk. So we're looking at an AI's interpretation of that. And it's really fascinating to look at that. This, of course, is OpenAI's Dolly 2. We'll talk a little bit more about that near the end. But what you do need to know that this is an AI generated piece. And this is an AI's interpretation of the prompt abstract alien obelisk. So we definitely see that for sure. You know, whether it's the themes of the alien, you know, we have these kind of foreign hieroglyphs. You know, it's hard to say exactly what those mean. They could just be abstract shapes you know but the ai kind of creates that to convey the alien or the foreign and we definitely don't know exactly what we're looking at here but there's no doubt that this is a divine destination of the highest order and so with that in mind of course it is kind of an alien a foreign scene and we're also looking at an obelisk so we're going to talk a little bit about the obelisk i brought a reference here so right here, here is an Egyptian obelisk. So you can definitely see the difference between the two. Of course, our classical definition of an obelisk would be a singular stone pillar with, of course, hieroglyphs and any type of writing in the side. So we definitely see that writing for sure. But we don't see, say, the traditional kind of spiked form of that. We see a much more almost like a wedge, you know, it kind of comes to what appears to be a point at the very top. So not, you know, exactly the same as what we would traditionally expect as an obelisk, but it definitely conveys the same themes. It is a sacred monument, it is a divine monument, and it is a kind of a monolith in that, that respect as well. And so the obelisk was really meant to kind of represent divine destination. So it, it commemorated everything from ancestors, of course, the dead, everything from the cycle of the sun and moon, everything from the weather, everything from the gods. So the obelisk is really a kind of a far reaching kind of metaphysical monument. So it's definitely what we're looking at for sure, the divine, the sacred, and it really kind of immerses us within that for sure. And of course, we see that everywhere from the grand sense of scale that we talked about to that contrast, you know, all the way to the hieroglyphs. You know, we don't know what this is saying, although it could be some type of divine word, some type of uh, elevated importance, especially because of that kind of ethereal glow that we're looking at. So I think that's really interesting. And with that in mind, you know, what do you guys see whenever you view this piece? Of course, not the original obelisk, but it is a kind of AI's interpretation of an alien obelisk. So really uh, fascinating to be able to look at that for sure. So what do you guys see whenever you view this piece? You know, what do you think we're looking at? Why do you think we're here? And how does this piece make you feel? Let me know in the comments down below. And so we're looking at an AI generative piece. So this is AI generated. So we're really seeing an entire new world of computer assistive creative expression, you know, the accessibility to taking what's in your imagination and putting it down into something concrete. It's just getting, you know, wider and wider range of accessibility. And that's really amazing. You know, there's a lot of people who are trying to critique AI art as not real art, quote unquote, too easy. And I think that that just does a massive disservice to the possibilities of AI art. Of course, you do have to have that nuance of knowing that instead of saying having the classical technique of the brushstroke, it's going to be more something like a prompt or articulation. You know, if you don't have the vocabulary to bring up some type of image, it's going to be hard to reference that. So AI 
AI art really is an entirely different world, but it is within the massive umbrella of what we call art. So to, to kind of, you know, dog on it or to say that it's not real art or to say that AI artists aren't real artists, it really does a massive disservice and it kind of fragments the art community. So I don't think that's a good thing, but I it's really fascinating to be able to look at an AI's interpretation of that for sure. And we also see, of course, this was created by OpenAI's Dolly 2. And that really is probably... At least in terms of accessibility, I would say Midjourney is the best, but OpenAI certainly is one of the, if not the most powerful AI art generator that's in so many people's hands. If you guys wanted to, uh, join the wait list. You know, it, it doesn't take too long. They're really kind of widening the scope as much as they can as they put some more restrictions on it. So if you guys want to check out Dolly 2, do it for sure. You know, it's really, really worth it. And I've been having a blast in Dolly 2. So we really see the capability of what Dolly 2 can do here. Of course, the prompt was abstract alien obelisk. So that's what we see here. You know, just a divine destination of the highest order and definitely a very sacred scene, very sacred spatial composition for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this piece. We talked a little bit about grand scale, talked a little bit about the AI's interpretation of that, you know, Dolly 2. And we also talked about the significance and kind of the kind of the meaning of the obelisk. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this episode, go check out Artix Works. He's doing a lot of really good stuff. Always trying to push the boundaries on those AI generative art scenes. So it's always fascinating and a blessing to be able to study that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Polar Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.